So whilst their detachment rule that we saw yesterday was of dubious quality, and we've actually seen a new detachment rule today, the replaced shield host, which got shown off in the battle report from today, that again feels like a bit of a downgrade to me. It loses the full up feel no pain against mortals and devastating wounds. And instead now that grants a once per game buff of a five plus critical hit bonus and also boosted AP for your melee weapons. It's not a bad buff in and of itself, especially when it combos with the Katars for the, the lethal or the sustained hits. But the fact that it is only a once per game buff makes it significantly less impressive overall. And I would say in general, it is a fairly big downgrade compared to the full up feel no pain they had before. But in spite of that negativity, whilst the custodies are on the face of it, maybe not quite as terrifying as they once were, there is some good news. And that is because their brand new comma patrol looks absolutely fantastic. It seems to be a genuinely brilliant way to add some new cool units to your army or for a brand new player to get exactly what you need to start things strong with a new force. Now in the new combat patrol for the custodies, you get a blade champion alongside a set of three Alaris terminators, five custodian wardens and five custodian guard. And this is actually a little bit better than you may expect because you can actually also get a couple of shield captains out of that as well if you wanted. The Custodian Guard and the Alaris Terminators kit can make one of their models into those HQ options, so you can get a little bit more bang for your buck out of them if you need or want an extra shield captain. So it really does have quite a good bit of value in it, but even if you don't build any of the other HQs except the Blade Champion from the box, this is still netting you a very, very impressive force and actually one of the biggest in terms of points values that we've seen from any of the combat patrols. As it stands right now, this is obviously liable to change in the new codex, but as it stands right now, you are looking at 120 points for the Blade Champion, 195 for three Alaris Terminators, 225 for five Custodian Guard, and then 250 for five Wardens. So without even building any as additional shield captains, that is netting you straight out of the box 790 points worth of models for what will presumably be a £95 price tag. So you do get a fairly substantial force right out of the box. If you were to pick up two of these, which you could very well do because all the units in here are very, very usable, with a bit of swapping around to, I don't know, maybe take a shield captain or drop one of the blade champions along with a few enhancements, you could very easily get this to build a really potent, really fun 1500 point list. You wouldn't have to drop too much to get it into that category. And you know, as I said, maybe dropping one of the blade champions and swapping a few things around, that would probably get you to that 1500 point tag. And a force made up of two of these boxes would be really quick to build and paint up. It would be really fun to use and see on the table. And I think it would actually be fairly powerful too. You'd get a load of durable, hard hitting bodies to put onto the board. It's actually such good value that compared to the current combat patrol that the custodies have, you actually get more in this one. Most of the combat patrols we've seen in 10th have actually had a slight downgrade in terms of the amount you get from them but the current combat patrol for the Custodes gets you around 675 points. It has a shield captain, three Virtus Praetors, 10 sisters, and then the, the rest of the custodian guard from the box that you could take as a four man squad. So this new combat patrol is actually a bit of an improvement on the old one, which is a really nice change to see. In terms of financial value with an estimated price of 95 pound, once again, we are looking at that fairly standard 30% saving. You get the Blade Champion for £25, five Wardens and five Guard are £37.50 each, and then the Alaris are £35. So you are getting £135 worth of models, meaning you're saving £40 and getting either the five Guard or the five Wardens essentially for free. It does work out to be pretty much exactly 30% off from buying them separately. So it's not the best value box we've seen. There have been a few that have had sort of like 33 to 35% off, but it certainly is good value. And I think whether you are an established Custodes player, 
and you just want a few more bodies in the forms of the Wardens or the Alaris or the Guards, or you are a brand new player, these will all be units that you will, at some point, want and need. And the Custodies are also getting the really nice new Auric Champions Battle Force as well, and I would say this new Combat Patrol complements that box exceptionally well. It gets you that Blade Champion, it gets you some more Terminators and Custodian Guard to go along with the Praetors that are in the, the Auric Champions box. And I would say that once you get those two, or, you know, two Combat Patrols that you can kind of mix and match, I think, which is really nice, either getting two Combat Patrols or the Auric Champion and the Combat Patrol would get you, in my opinion, a really nice set of units, no matter whether you wanted to go Terminator Heavy or Bike Heavy. The only thing that you would really need from that point, I think, is maybe looking at some of the Forge World vehicles, like the, the Caladius, the Tanks, or the Dreadnoughts, the Telamon kind of thing. And then, of course, some Sisters of Silence, which love them or hate them, they do look like they're going to be somewhat important in the new Custodes Codex, even if it is just for, you know, some cheaper objective holding troops, I think you are going to want at least a few squads of them just to get some more bodies for the board. But all in all, I think this is a fantastic combat patrol. I think it gets you a reasonable saving price-wise. And then in terms of points, this box is just fantastic. You get a significant chunk of models. And as I said, all models which you will likely want to use in games of 40k at some point. So I would say this is a really nice box for new players, but also for more established players as well. It's also what I really like, small enough in model count that you can really quickly build it, paint it, you know, get it onto the battlefield and just play some games with. I would say this is probably the best combat patrol box we've seen in 10th edition. I think in terms of financial value, in terms of what you get model-wise and points-wise, just in terms of the actual contents. There's nothing here that some stuff may be slightly less optimal, yes, but everything here, and this is maybe due to the fact that Custodes have got such a small roster, but everything here you will probably want to, to try out or bring in your games because it is all, at the moment at least, quite usable. So that is the Custodes Combat Patrol. As always, I'd love to know what you make of this box and whether you will be picking one up whether you will be picking two up, or maybe if you're going to be going for one combat patrol and one of the Auric Champions box. Which do you think is the best combo to go for in terms of getting those two boxes together to, to build an army? As always, let me know your thoughts and ideas down in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me, but until next time, I'll catch you later guys.